The pressure gauge is a humble piece of equipment on an expensive sprayer. It should probably get more respect than it does. It's the pressure gauge that tells you, the operator, how much spray is actually coming out of your sprayer. That's why we do all this calibration. In the end, however many PSI are showing here should dictate how much liquid is coming out of the tips. So you can imagine how important it is to make sure this is accurate. And there are a lot of ways that it can be tested. Some are within a grower's reach, some aren't. We've got this model from Belgium, very expensive, from AAMS, and it's used with hydraulics. We know that this gauge has been calibrated and is accurate. This is the gauge we want to test. It gets plugged in, we crank it up, and if they match, then our gauge is accurate. Then there's some more complicated methods. This is from a company called Amtech. Uh, it's the same idea. We have a gauge that we know to be accurate. We put the test gauge here, and we pump it up, and if the gauges match, well, then it's accurate. But a grower in southern Ontario, a former vineyard guy, I was at a workshop, and he said, well, any grower can build one of these for $40. And he just used threaded pipe. Even the valve is optional. Every operation has an air compressor. So as long as you get the right fitting for the air compressor, this is within your reach. And it's the same idea. You have a gauge that you know to be accurate, and then you have the gauge that needs to be tested. Let's just hook that up. What you'll do is you'll take some Teflon tape and wrap it maybe twice around the gauge. There shouldn't be any need to go more than that. Make sure it's smooth and it's not obstructing the orifice. And then we'll, by hand, start to thread it. Come on, you. There we go. Never turn a gauge by the face. Once it starts to snug up a little bit, that's when you want to get a wrench and finish tightening it that way. That's good. So what would happen is we would plug this into the air compressor, and as I said, the valve is optional, but you can turn the compressor up till you get to, say, 100 or 150 PSI, your standard operating pressure, and then you compare the two gauges. Now, a common question I get is, well, how do we know this gauge is accurate? Well, in truth, you don't. Usually one in four, one in five gauges you buy off the shelf aren't accurate. So what I generally recommend is buy a few of them, three or four. Test them against each other in different combinations, and the ones that all agree are accurate enough for our purposes. And the ones that are out, well, keep your receipt. Bring those back to the store. Believe me, they're just going to go back on the shelf. So don't be the guy that goes and buys your neighbor's uh, defunct gauge. Be the guy that tests it and has an accurate sprayer.